5 seconds honorable members on behalf of this august house i compliment our great farmers my government is striving very hard to attain the goal of doubling farmers income understanding the needs of farmers the government is seeking to find permanent solutions to their problems it is the priority of the government to provide better facilities and assistance to farmers for the entire spectrum of agriculture activities from purchase of equipments and seeds to transportation of produce and its sale work is being carried out with a new approach for reducing the cost of farming providing the farmers with fair price for their crops providing access to new markets and helping them with additional sources of income my government has taken the historic decision of fixing the minimum support price of 22 crops at one and a half times higher than the production cost of the crop in addition it is being ensured that good quality seeds are made available to the farmers the number of krishi vigyan kendras is being increased across the country to assist the farmers with scientific methods of farming more than 70 crore soil health cards have been distributed to inform the farmers about the health of the soil 100% neem coating of urea has been done to facilitate its availability and to prevent its misuse my government is completing 99 incomplete old irrigation projects so that farmers do not face any hurdle in irrigation 71 of these projects will be completed by the next few months micro irrigation is also being promoted by the government to ensure full utilization of every drop of water crop insurance is being provided to farmers at low premium under the pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana to safeguard them from potential crisis due to crop damage a campaign has been launched to link online more than 1500 agricultural mandis to facilitate market access to farmers cold storage capacities are being increased at a fast pace to minimum crop damage from the field to the market and to ensure proper storage the waste to wealth campaign is being implemented to ensure that farmers generate additional income out of the crop residue from their field under the blue revolution scheme my government is providing training to fishermen in deep sea fishing and financial assistance buying modern fishing trawlers this shall allow them to have additional income for improving their standard of living as such sir these comprehensive interventions will trigger a permanent transformation in our 70 year old agriculture system empower our great farmers pull them out of their problems and do justice to their potential by lending mom- momentum to schemes linked with the digital program B- my government is trying to provide full advantage of e governance to people living in rural areas 
in 2014 only 59 village panchayats in the country had digital connectivity today 116000 village panchayats are connected with optical fiber and about 40000 village panchayats have been provided with wifi hotspots establishment of common service centers has been accelerated to ensure that various benefits and services are easily available to brothers and sisters in rural areas in these centers facilities like banking insurance pension and scholarships etc are being made available online to the village folk in 2014 there were only 84000 common service centers today their number has increased to more than 3 lakhs of these 2 lakh and 12000 centers have been set up in village panchayats in this era of information technology easy availability of data at low cost is a big facility as well as means for development for our people the cost of 1 gb data which was about rupees 250 in 2014 has now reduced to only rupees 10 to 12 similarly the mobile talk time charges have now been reduced to less than half earlier it was almost impossible for ordinary entrepreneurs to supply their products to government departments the government has now developed an online platform called jam that is government e marketplace for public procurement this platform has helped in bringing transparency in public procurement and at the same time has provided an opportunity to entrepreneurs in big and small cities as well as villages to sell their products without any difficulty to the government recently in order to simplify the process the government has started a scheme wherein loans of amounts up to rupees 1 crore are approved within 59 minutes we are all aware of the dismal state of banking facilities for the poor that existed even 45 years after nationalization of banks the jan dhan yojana of my government is an excellent example of how to lay the foundation of major economic transformation this scheme is not merely for opening new bank accounts its objectives are far wider this scheme is not only ushering in economic inclusion of the poor it is also increasing their self confidence 34 crore bank accounts have been opened in the country stop